Lotus Blooms over in Alexandria. And we thought we'd bring her on today to check in and see how um, being closed for, for about 30 days um, is doing and how we can help with your business. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Tell me a little bit about what your store offers. So we are, depending on what you want to call it, we are a sex shop, we're an adult boutique, we are a lingerie store, um, but we like to do things a little bit different. So Lotus Blooms has been on King Street in Old Town for about 10 years now. And we were founded to create a different experience um, of a sex shop. So originally owned by nurses, emergency room nurses actually, who saw a lot of people coming into the emergency room after accidentally doing things that they shouldn't be doing because oh, they didn't know how to use their body. <laughs> and so they created a beautiful shop where people had resources, who had, um, they have trained educators and body safe products so that um, a little less trips to the emergency room, especially now, especially now folks, the emergency room is a little bit busy and they don't want to be seeing you for oops, sex reasons. <laughs> so that is what we do and who we are amongst many of other things. Okay. So it doesn't matter if I say, Hey, let's go to the sex store or the adult entertainment store or the lingerie shop. Does, is there the right way to say this? Fair question. Um, we are super careful about our language at Lotus Blooms when we're talking to people about bodies um, because there's so much misinformation and also shaming that goes on around bodies and sex in general. But ultimately, we're a sex store. We sell sex toys. We sell adult products. We sell lubes. Um, we are a little bit pretentious about the ones that we bring in and we do a ton of research on the toy materials. Um, so if it feels better to somebody to call it an adult boutique, um, call it an adult boutique. If it feels better to say we're going to the lingerie shop, go to the lingerie shop, but just come see us. Um, we are not adult entertainment from the legal standpoint, just to clarify if any of the SBA lenders are listening. Um, see. We don't do any like live, we don't sell pornography. You can get that pretty easy online. Um, we don't need to take up space in our retail selling it to you. Wonderful. During this time, how can we support you guys um, to keep you afloat for who knows how much longer this is going to continue, especially uh, there in Northern Virginia? Thank you. Um, we, you know, we've been super lucky um, in that we have an, an online infrastructure already kind of set up. So we have an online store um, that has most of our products on there. Um, and you can shop online. We are still shipping every single day. And uh, um, we're offering curbside pickup too. So we know once you get something stuck in your head and you're like, I want to do that tonight, um, it's really hard to wait patiently for shipping. So you can absolutely order it. And there is our website allows you to select um, pickup. Uh, in store and you just give us a call outside when you're outside and we will literally hand it to you through the door You don't even have to get out of your car. Honestly, you can like put your flashes on on King Street and just call me and say pass it through the window I will do that for you um, I've had a bunch of people actually laugh but go can you guys do this all the time? This is the best way to get sex stories. I don't even have to get out of my car <laughs> So we're thinking about it Sounds good. Yeah, you were saying earlier that um, people can call into the store and do virtual shopping uh, yeah. with one of your, well, there's only one right now, right? Um, one of your uh, educated uh, teammates that will answer any questions for them and take them around the store virtually. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So part of the reason that Lotus Blooms is so special um, I'm a little bit biased, but Lotus Blooms is really special um, is because of the incredible team that makes it all go. Um, and I'm not even talking about myself. I started in the world of sex education. I was doing counseling with teenagers and I realized they were doing a whole lot of stuff with their bodies. And then they didn't know how to do like they didn't have any idea how their bodies worked and nobody was willing to talk to them about their bodies. So 
I was like, I'm gonna save the world. And I went to Weiner University to get my master's in human sexuality education. And now I own a sex shop. A little bit different than saving the world with teenagers, um, but teenagers turn into adults who still probably haven't had like good conversations about how their bodies work. Um, so if you are one of those humans that we are who you're for, or we are for you, um, but my team in general, not everyone has a master's and it's definitely not required. Um, I have doulas on my team. I have um, sex therapists on my team. I have uh, grassroots um, advocates on our team. We just have such an incredible group of like passionate people who are able to talk people through their first vibrator, how their pelvic floor works and why there might be pain, um, how to have a conversation about something that's uncomfortable, either with their doctor or with their partner. Um, my team is pretty special. And so in order to kind of replicate that online, there's only so much we can do in terms of product descriptions that really gets that personalized experience. So we set up a pretty cool system if you go to our website and click on virtual shopping consultation, it'll take you to a calendar and you can choose an appointment time, um, like immediate or next week or what have you. And it will send you a Zoom link automatically and you'll be connected to our educator who will be able to answer your questions about why do you have 25 different vibrators and which one should I pick? Um, and that's part of, you know, what my team is able to do is ask you questions so that you know exactly what's going to work for your body or for your goal um, for quarantine exploration. I love how you and so many more of these small businesses have turned around and pivoted uh, in some way in order to stay afloat. You see a lot of the bars around town um, turning into grocery stores. And, uh, you know, I had, to, I had to order some stuff from Best Buy the other day. And uh, they basically just text you and they said, um, when you get here, click on this link, let us know what your car looks like, and we'll bring your stuff out to the car, put it in the back and like take off. Like, I'm fine with that happening like all the time, Most of the time. <laughs> you know, because I don't like walking through the stores anyway. Or talking to that many people. How many? Talk or talking to that many people. I like know. I know. I'm okay with just that quick little text. Yeah. Um, efficient to the point. Now, when COVID's not going on, you also have education classes in the store. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So they can find a calendar of that on your website as well. Yeah, we do all sorts of workshops across the spectrum of sex, bodies, pleasure, intimacy. We have uh, massage therapists who come in and do, teach like massage techniques. We have oral sex focus workshops. We've got um, some empowerment workshops, like how to feel good and confident in your body. We've got intro to kink and what even is that and why would I workshop like we pretty much run the spectrum. We have guest educators, we have in-house educators. It's just a fun night. All clothes are always on. Okay. Um, we It is educational, a little bit of entertainment, really bad like puns, um, but a lot of good information and something different to do, you know, when COVID isn't running the world. Which is hopefully soon enough. Everyone, Everyone's crossing their fingers. Thanks for uh, joining us today. So nice to see you. you I'd love to see you at like happy hour in a normal environment soon. Or we could just wave at hap front, like happy hour across by supporting our small local bars to go. Absolutely. Have you ever seen Fauci Pouchies? You should look those up. It, it, amazing. Yes, I did. Um, what bar was that? I, I'm forgetting. Me too. But those are really, those are really cute. Yeah, yeah. everyone in DC, DC just lifted it and said, here, go get to go or delivery uh, alcohol. Yeah. We're fine with that. I don't know. Did you guys do that in Virginia? Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to buy food and alcohol in Virginia. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the Commonwealth did it, though, because they like to keep control of all of the liquor and stuff. 
lived there, yep. lived there for many years. But. Anyway, um, thank you so much. And thank you for letting us know how we can support you. Um, I'm Mark Rutstein with the Rutstein Group. We are local real estate agents in DC, Maryland, and uh, Virginia, checking in with local small business uh, until this whole mess is over. Nice talking to you, Teal. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys online and at the curb. Enjoy your day. Bye, you too.